told you I was coming from New York. It's really hot. Then I came down here. It's supposed to be the winter time, but now I come out here. The season's change. I'm, I'm, I, you know, I'm overdressed. I got my Persian scarf on. I gotta take that off. Um, I got my duster on. I gotta take Eh? Don't beat me. Uh, well, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I won't. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm about to hit your glass again. Take my duster off. Let me see. I got. I said, I'm hot. I'm sweaty. I better take. Oh, remember my new device? Mm. I gotta take my sweatshirt off for just a second. My shoulder sweatshirt. I got it back from New York. In fact, let me take my closer winter hat off. I Sweatshirt off. My, 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 my sweatshirt off. Get the sweat off of me. Like that. Uh, you see, my woman gave me a new haircut. Okay, I take this off. See, it's my. This was in storage at my sister's house. You know, my shelter, sweatshirt, shelter's a dance club. See that thing? See that in the back? The back? See, see what it says there? In the back? You know, warning. Stay away, mm. at least 200 feet. I think that's what it says. That's one of those things for the fire department. Oh, then I got my classic sweater, sweater shelter t-shirt. The shelter, club shelter. Ah, man. I'll let you answer your phone. Ah, oh, in fact, mm -hmm. uh, uh, could you just reach in my bag? There you go. Just, just bring that, that big folder mm -hmm. up there. That would be good. Yeah, let me have that big folder. Yeah, like that. Let me have it right there. I'll put this on my phone. Okay, oh. In my eight pack one guy. Yeah. No. Paulo Ferrari. Well, it's no the, the pedagogy oh. of hope. It's the follow-up or he's sort of reworked. Yeah. Pedagogy of uh, the oppressed, the classic thing. You know, yeah. the part of okay. studies. Yeah. I got that, so I gotta Read that's for them. academic stuff goes. Anyway, I'll uh, bring this out. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Let's see. Let's bring this out. Of course, I want to show you something about shelter. Oh, I got to say one more thing about shelter. I forgot. Yeah. Oh, brother, brother, can you can, can you just hold this for one second? Just stop. Right there. I just want to show you shelter because you see, it's a dance club, so it's, you got various like dancers on the back. That's why this is a, a classic. I, I can take that back there now. This is why this is one of those classic uh, T-shirts. So you can't get this anymore. Everybody wants this T-shirt. Nobody's going to get it. See, this club shelter was a dance club, and it went all night long into the next day. And it was a shelter. You know, it was your your weekly, you know, Saturday night to, through Sunday afternoon um, um, uh, respite away from the, the toils of, of of the world. Anyway. Uh, then I was thinking, you know, when I was up in the States, I was saying, now what other kinds of shelters do I need? Because now it's called club shelter, but they're in between transitions out and they're open again. But it's not going to do me any good because I'm down here in South Africa and club shelters up there in New York. It's not going to do me any good. But I need, I always need a shelter to me. Now I had this thing, because as you, as, as you notice, your brother, Mr. Polder, he's here, he's here from Dumbaza. And when I was first researching the Baza, I told you before they are, they had all this thing about the clan name. So I was very concerned. I went up to when I went up to New York about clan names. I want to be a part of a clan. See, like I'm, I'm African, I'm supposed to have a clan. It was obsessing me for months and months, and literally for months. So I talked to some historians up in New York, got them on on tape and everything like that, talking about what's our clan affiliation since we're in North America. So Brother James Small and Professor James Small, he said, we're just purely African-American clan. Okay, great. That talked to uh, Dr. Jeffries, Dr. Leonard Jeffries, and he's going to some other thing. So here's, when I first came back, I said the middle class passage clan, you know? So now I've come up with something. Let me show you what I've come up with. I'll put that thing right there. It's right there. Now, see, what I do is I say, first of all, I say, I put a, 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 a bracket there, right? And I say, and smoke the, the, the is like lowercase the, and right now, keep on going, uh, uppercase B, B R O T H E R, the brother, uh, that would be nice to see it, like that, the brother, just like that brackets, right? Then, I write my whole, you know, 
my whole, you know, American name, whatever you want to, you know, all three names, you know, because a lot of times, you know, they, lately they've been doing, not lately, but in a few years, when, when they want to identify you like as a criminal, they give all your, 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 your first, middle, and last name, so I put that, so that would be then my name right there. Then I put under it my designation. So my designation, I put a dash, and I put African, A-F-R-I-C-A-N, that's what I am. Then I put a bracket again. Now since I, you know, came of age or whatever, have you in North America, I put North American, see, and, and I closed the brackets, see, like that, American, right? Then, here's where it gets, under there, I put Middle Passage, Middle Passage, right? Clan. Now, there is this thing with this because that's the, the, the well, African North American is sort of like well, it is, it's one of those things that doesn't trip off the tongue right, you know. But technically, um, really, it should be African Americas clan. Because you know you have you know you have Canada you know whatever you have is, um, the the Caribbean you have Central America you have South America that's where all the slave trade came through through the Middle Passage so it should be the the African Americas clan because I want to associate with them and to be specific I would be African North American like if I went to Canada go to Canada then I'd be happy African Canadian you know like that so 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 that's what it is so when I'm talking to like my regular folks. Instead of saying African American, I said, no, I'm, you know, I say African American, of course, say black. <laughs> That's easy. That's worldwide. But if I want my designation, technically, I'm African, I'm North American clan. But if I just want an alliteration that just trips off my tongue, alliteration is one of those big words I learned in university. <laughs> then I just say, hey, Middle Passage clan. I like that. Sounds good. Real good. It, by the way, this has been one of those dispatches from Arts Director Murders. That would be me, T, from the Patterson Sacred Trench to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect as an African North American of the Middle Passage clan. <laughs>